In this tutorial, I will discuss about the Mercury tool in Photoshop 2021. Before starting this tutorial, I want to remind you, in the previous tutorial, I discussed about the Move tool in Photoshop 2021. If you haven't seen the tutorial yet, please watch it. Ok, let's start this tutorial. The marquee tool is used to select an area in the canvas. And you can do anything like add, delete or change something whatever you want in the selected area. The marquee tool is located right here in the tools menu. And the shortcut of the marquee tool is M. If you are using another tool and now you need to use the marquee tool, just press M to select the marquee tool. The marquee tools has four options. These are rectangular marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool, single row marquee tool and single column marquee tool. The single row and the single column marquee tools are not much visible. These are only used to select a row or column that is only one pixel wide. Select the single row marquee tool and click in the canvas. It makes a selection of one pixel wide. If you press Alt plus backspace, it will be filled by foreground color. Then deselect the selection. Shortcut is Ctrl plus D. Now you can see the fill color. The single column marquee tool is similar to the single row marquee tool. Go back by undo, just press Ctrl plus G. Ok, let's make a selection using the rectangular marquee tool. Now you can do anything in the selected area like draw, erase, delete, cut, copy, etc. I am drawing something using brush tool. Notice that I am only able to draw inside the selection, but I can't draw outside the selection. Like that, I am only able to change the brightness and contrast to the selected area. If you want to do the changes outside the selected area, not inside, you have to inverse the selection. Go to select and click inverse or the shortcut of the inverse selection is shift plus ctrl plus i. Now you can do whatever you want outside the selected area. Actually it's also a selected area. I want to move now going up in the option bar, here are 4 selection options. New, Add, Subtract and Intersect. The default selection option is New. If it's selected, you can make a new selection with every click. If you select the Add selection option, you can add the selection area with previous one. If you select the Subtract selection option, you can subtract the selection area from the previous selected area. The final option is intersecting. It reduces multiple selection into just the location where a new selection intersects the existing ones. You can use the shortcut for selection options. If you hold on shift, you can use add selection option. If you hold on alt, you can use subtract selection option. If you hold down shift plus alt, you can use the intersect selection option. You can see feather option in the option bar. It helps us to make a new selection with soft edge. Without feathering, the edge of the selections are sharp. You can preset how soft the edge of a new selection will be. Enter the amount of deserved feathering here prior to making the selection. The setting that you choose will remain until you change it. If you consistently make a lot of selections that require the same edge, this is a good option for you. If you forget to preset the feathering, don't worry. You can feather it after the selection has been made by accessing Select Modify Feather from the main menu bar. The marquee tool can be set to select in particular proportion using settings from the next option in the option bar, Style. In normal style, the marquee tool follows the user hand, non-constrained to height and weight proportion. When fixed ratio is selected, weight and height fields become active, in which numerical information, like 1 to 2, may be entered. This choice constrains the selection to a height that's twice the weight. 
selecting fixed size allows the user to enter wide and height restriction based upon a specific number of pixel per inch. There is even a switch icon that allows you to reverse the weight and height with just a click of a button. In addition to pixel, you can also use a specific units such as inch or centimeters in height and weight values. One more last thing I forgot to discuss here. You are free to select an area, whatever you need. But if you hold down the shift, you will be able to select an area of a square. The elliptical marquee tool works similarly to the rectangular marquee tool. You can select an area like an oval, but when you hold down the shift, it will be a circle selection. The elliptical marquee tool works like the rectangular marquee tool, but it makes a selection like oval or circle. That's all for today. In the next tutorial, I will discuss about the lasso tool in Photoshop 2021. So please watch the next tutorial. I hope this video will help you. If you also think that, please hit the like button and comment on how you like the video and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.